Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and of course as we are getting closer to the May 2019 update one of the questions I get asked quite often is what is the minimum requirement for the May 2019 update? Will my computer be able to run the May 2019 update? Well the minimum requirements for the May 2019 update are as follows. The processor needs to be a 1 gigahertz or faster CPU or what we call a system on a chip which is all of those really integrated uh, little devices that have all of it within uh, you know the same little board. Um, RAM, the amount of memory needed and I gotta say this is really a minimum. Uh, if you're running the 32-bit version 1 gigabyte of RAM, the 64-bit version 2 gigabytes of RAM I want to stress out one thing. If your device would have a combination of a 1 gigahertz processor and a, let's say, a 1 gigabyte of RAM for 32-bit, you're not going to have a great experience in Windows. That is so minimum that it won't run really well. So I don't really recommend that you run anything uh, Windows 10 on such a minimum requirement, uh, honestly. Hard drive space, 32 gigabytes for the 64 and 32-bit system. So, of course, it doesn't take 32 gigabytes in order to run, but they're updating that minimum, probably because a lot of the cheap tablets out there that had only 16, a lot of people complain about you know problems after a while, and uh, which is normal because 16 gigabytes is so small that with time and with usage Windows actually gets bigger on the hard drive and you end up running out of space. Graphics drivers, a direct direct X9 or later with uh, Windows display drivers of 1.0 or later. So uh, basically that is the minimum requirement for graphics and a display resolution of 800 by 600. You know any modern device has much better than that honestly. And even older devices, I got a uh, Core 2 laptop here from Dell that is, you know, an old, old machine actually runs with this. So it's kind of interesting. And of course, you need Wi-Fi or Ethernet adapter. Windows 10 requires that you have internet for it to actually work well. It will install even if you don't, probably. But, you know, you need these updates and all. And so today, uh, in today's world, you know, internet access is what we need. So that's the minimum requirement. But honestly, I hope you have better than that because this is such a minimum requirement that you uh, you won't have a great experience if you have only the minimum that's here. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.